All glories to the seven devotees. All glory to the seven devotees. All glory to Sri Sri Gangananda. All glory to Sri Prabhupada. <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Jnana Timirandhasya, Jnana Anjana Salakaya, Shakshurun Militam Gena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Katha Mahiam, Dadati Swa Padantikam, Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalan, Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha, Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajibam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Anvitam Sha Amam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pesthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi, Goravani Pracharine, Nirvisesha Sunyavadi, Paschatya Desatarine, Vanchakalpatarubhyascha, Krupa Sindhubhya Evacha, Patitanam Pavane Pyo, Vaishnave Pyo, Namo Namaha, Namo Maha Vadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, 
कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने घोरत्षे नम हे कृष्णकुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्तकांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतगदाधर शिवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नरं चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर ये नष्टप्राएशु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवति नैष्टिकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय नंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम हरे कृष्णा as i was just mentioning before today is a very very auspicious day of course in vaishnav calendar we see every day is very auspicious because of the appearance disappearance of great acharyas lot of festivals appearances of the lord and we also have occasions like ekadashis on which we get chance to absorb more and seek lot of blessings from the lord so that we can advance in our devotion in the scriptures it is said that on this particular day which is called bhadra purnima it is very very auspicious in the sense if one can gift shrimad bhagavatam and it's also said on this occasion if someone is also donating shrimad bhagavatam the results are eternal and also the lord is saying that one gets the opportunity to reside in vaikunt so what is so special of shrimad bhagavatam is shrimad bhagavatam is compiled by व्यास भगवान विच मीन्स श्रीमद भागवतम इज नॉट मैन मेड और ह्यूमन रिटर्न बट बाय द लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ वेन व्यासदेव हैज कंपाइल द वेदस उपनिषद्स पुराणस आफ्टर ऑल दैट he was still a bit worried writing compiling is easy but how many can really understand it especially when the kali yuga is coming it gets even more difficult because of the nature of the yuga because of the quarrel and hypocrisy that is predominating <laughs> and not only that but also the life span of the individual is very less the level of austerity is also less when everything is coming down the only thing that is shooting up is the false ego so in kali yuga when the false ego is high what is that which can save us what is that because vyasadev is paradukha dukhi why because he is thinking about the future generations he is thinking about us he is thinking about the people who are in germany 
he is also thinking about people who are in cologne and he is also thinking about people who are sitting in this room and when he was thinking so about the whole mankind then narada muni said have you compiled the glorious pastimes of the lord and the greatness of his devotees <coughs> that is the most sublime way through which one can attain the topmost destination param dham and then when she, uh, when vyasadeva has compiled the shrimad bhagavatam it is already perfect it is maha puran it is also amala puran we know that the puranas are divided or classified into three groups some are in the mode of passion some are in the mode of goodness some are in the mode of ignorance but shrimad bhagavatam is about these three modes and it is spotless <coughs> once shri bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur or bhakti vinod thakur i think it's bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur uh, please help me if if it is bhakti vinod thakur he was saying that when there is a whole devastation that may happen and everything is inundated all the scriptures are lost if we have only bhagavatam then there is absolutely no loss because everything can be recovered from this shrimad bhagavatam ha ek ani mata ji is it bhakti vinod thakur or maharaj so that powerful is this shrimad bhagavatam and as we have already might be exposed to this great work vyasadev was very very happy that he could put the whole gist of or the essence or the cream of all the vedantas into shrimad bhagavatam but what is even more beautiful about bhagavatam is we can read from the first three verses of this canto 1 om namo bhagavate vasudevaya जन्मादस्यतोन्वयादितरस्चात्तेष्वाभ्यस्वरात्तेनेब्रह्महृदायादिकवेमुह्यन्तयत्सूरयातेजोवारिमृदाम्यथाविनिमयोत्रिसर्
the original living being only because of him do the material universe as temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature appear factual although they are unreal i therefore meditate upon him lord shri krishna who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode which is forever free from the illusory representations of material world i meditate upon him for he is the absolute truth satyam param dhimahi the bob the purport here wonderfully glorifies the supreme position of the lord the author of shrimad bhagavatam gives a direct answer to queries he says that the lord shri krishna is the origin of all creations he is not only the creator of the universe but the destroyer as well the manifested cosmic nature is created at a certain period by the will of the lord it is maintained for some time and then it is annihilated by his will therefore the supreme will is behind all cosmic activities of course there are atheists of various categories who do not believe in a creator but that is due to a poor fund of knowledge the modern scientist for example has created space satellites and by such arrangements or other these satellites are thrown into outer space to fly for some time at the control of the scientist similarly all the universes with innumerable stars and planets are controlled by the intelligence of the personality of god head there is a very very nice purport explaining further shila prabhupad explains about the whole bhagavatam different cantos how this is categorized and in which canto what is presented by vyasadev and the next is dharma projita kaitava atra paramo nirmatsaranam satam vedyam vastavam atra vastu shivadam tapatrayan moolanam shrimad bhagavate mahamunikrite kim va parer ishvara sadyo hridi avarudaya atra kritibi shushubhi tat kshana tat kshanat immediately completely really uh, rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated this bhagavat puran propounds the highest truth which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart the highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all such truth approves the threefold miseries this beautiful bhagavatam compiled by the great sage vyasadev in his maturity yeah huh? is sufficient in itself for god realization what is the need of any other scripture as soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of bhagavatam by this culture of knowledge the supreme lord is established within the heart all of us have this as our goal when we practice bhakti that one day may my heart be purified so that i can invite the lord and offer service to the lord and the sublime means here it's as soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of the bhagavatam by this culture of knowledge the supreme lord is established within his heart isn't it so nice just by taking shelter of bhagavatam we can attain the topmost goal of our life then it goes further when we say okay when we get a best result of something yeah it's so nice but can it be very difficult because that's what we think when something is the best we may think it's not so easy to get but the glories of bhagavatam is that here we see nigama kalpa taror galitam phalam sukamuka amruta dravya samyutam pibata bhagavatam rasamalayam mohur aho rasika bhuvi pavuka this bhagavatam is that kind of literature which we can never get bored of 
द मोर एंड मोर द मोर एंड मोर वी हियर टू भागवतम आवर एपिटाइट टू हियर इट इंक्रीजेस मोर एंड मोर एंड हियर इट इज सेड हाँ मोहर अहो रसिका भुवि भाव कहा इट सेज दैट ओ एक्सपर्ट एंड थॉटफुल मैन रेली श्रीमद भागवतम वट इज श्रीमद भागवतम द मेच्योर फ्रूट ऑफ डिजायट्री ऑफ वेदिक लिटरेचर्स we have visited so many universities colleges try to acquire a lot of knowledge hoping that will lead us to the ultimate goal of life but we have utterly failed the only shelter if we want to be successful is shrimad bhagavatam bhai here it says that oh expert and thoughtful men if we are really serious of attaining the ultimate goal of life they said relish shrimad bhagavatam why because it is so sweet how sweet it is it is sweet like a mango fruit what kind of mango fruit the most ripe and form the most ripe and mango fruit it is sweet from all sides yeah from the top bottom left right from everywhere this mango fruit is so sweet shrimad bhagavatam there is no no uh, leela or the past time which we think oh this is not for me even when we talk about the 10th canto the 10th canto it is the saman bonam it is the one can still take impetus to take sharanagati <coughs> just like a mango can be relished from all sides and but this mango is not just ordinary sweet ripened mango but this was also pegged by parrot suka suka mukha suka mukha amruta dravya samyutam so this mango juice that is coming from this mango is so sweet that it is touched by sukadeva goswami sukadeva goswami is narrating to all the rishis and who were present who were blessed huh? they are rasikas they could relish the the juice of bhagavat katha how to understand this is it is very difficult for us to stay fasting for a full day it is very difficult for us to fast full day and also not sleep over the night and here we are talking about bhagavatam which was spoken for 7 days 7 nights we can't even imagine sukadev goswami in great trance he is glorifying the past times of the lord at the same time parikshit maharaj was increasing with his eagerness asking questions and getting a deeper deeper understanding so that he can attain after the seven day he attained perfection so we know the past time where dhruv maharaj attained perfection in 6 months bhagavatam if we have the taste then we can attain perfection even 7 days and what is the significance of shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam is compilation of the glories of the lord it is describing the greatness of the lord once when i was in dusseldorf there was a preacher from some christian background he was asking why do you have so many books we have only one bible why do you have so many books yeah because there is a lot to describe about the lord 
we can say this is all one book but this is also not enough we are saying in this universe bhagavatam is this much if you go to the higher other universes where the the aptitude sorry the appetite to relish bhagavatam is more then the bhagavatam there is in many more volumes than this so there is no wrong to have so many books why because bhagavatam is detailing the form of the lord the form of his house the form of his dham the form where he is coming from how is the spiritual world looks like how are the inhabitants of the spiritual worlds look like and what is the greatness of the lord and what are the greatness of those devotees who took complete shelter of the lord everything is so nicely so nicely put up as part of shrimad bhagavatam there are these 12 cantos and these are categorized on the topics which are very very curious interesting and also purposeful for us atra sarga visargascha sthanam poshanam utah manvantara ishanu kathaya nirodha muktir ashraya these are the topics that shrimad bhagavatam is very nicely very easily putting up so that we we may think okay if it's very philosophical we may get lost but these are the compilations of the real stories these are not any fantasy these are not novels comics these are imbibed with the lord uh, these are the glorification the lord is called uttama shloka one of the names of the lord is uttama shloka because there are so many innumerable shlokas to just glorify the lord just innumerable the qualities of the lord are innumerable the shlokas are also innumerable so is also with the devotees just the lord has so many great wonderful qualities his devotees are also having so many qualities but when we just say this how to understand when we go through the past times of of the devotees and the lord in shrimad bhagavatam whether it is if you're talking about kardamamuni devahuti and then there is also kapil kapila dev and devahuti samvad then when we talk about dhruva maharaj now then when we talk about prithu maharaj everything is showing just we can take any past time and then if we meditate upon it our interest to practice bhakti increases many folds the glories of bhagavatam is very nicely put up by propas in the purports very emphasizes that we should have a regime that daily we take shelter of bhagavatam nityam bhagavata sevaya and the best way is on this particular day if we can embrace bhagavatam in our life and then go page by page no uh, it is said then we be, we can become sage page by by page we can become a sage no we don't want to become sage no we want to become devotees yes if we really want to become devotees we take shelter of this particular means because this is the cream it is said that this is the most sublime and the most um easiest form of things that we can understand and 
through the means of bhagavatam we can understand the glories of the lord devotees this is one thing the the principles of bhakti this is another thing and then we may we may think that okay this bhagavatam is for very very few devotees oh i am eligible for taking bhagavatam huh? can i already start bhagavatam is it not like okay there is a whole list of books after finishing all these books then i come to the eligibility of taking to bhagavatam when we go through this whole list of books what is in those books is the essence again of the bhagavatam so it is preparing us so that we can read bhagavatam and understand bhagavatam understand the seriousness of bhagavatam what is discussed here and then when we have this reading habit of every day reading at least one shlok at least one translation per part then what will happen is that we get immune against all the materialistic what do we call materialistic um, yeah modes of material nature influence of modes of material nature i could take one one past time but um probably till what time do we have this hard but no okay any thoughts anyone would like to say share how how did you find bhagavatam in your life because already there are devotees who have been reading they have already read uh, maybe ek ani mata ji jab aaye the hai kaam se bhagavatam ko bhi hone se nikalta ho ho mera sada krishna book mein aata hai ki hum hum aaj ko bhi nahi hai pura hai ki hum jo koi krishna book hum ke baad hai ולהמשיך <laughs> 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 Ich habe gesagt, dass ich die Philosophie und nicht sofort verständlich ziehe. Aber was ist denn sehr leicht zu verstehen? Das kann man auch lesen. Sehr leicht. Das ist wie ein Bestseller gelesen. Sehr agilig. Das war für mich so gut. Eine gute Erfahrung. Ich habe sofort mein Herz bereit. Sehr schön. Yeah. Anyone would like to share Bhagavatam in your life? Maharaj? I'm just ashamed that I'm reading so little of Bhagavatam. Yes. the point of view of 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 mine and the dream of my distribution of my life and the distribution of my life and the special thing in the shimad bhagavatam shimad bhagavatam is distributed okay maybe because maybe we are not distributing shimad bhagavatam every day just like bhagavad gita is mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes, it's pretty. Would be very nice. Yes, but it's really a special feeling. Also, it's a feeling of happiness. It's love. It certainly scores also important. It's very important. Yes, but not not as Shrimad Bhagavatam. It's it may be great. It's 
activity of dating. So it is not my kind of scam, but that is the people take. And so mostly the authors, not not only, not only. Sometimes the people that sell them, they really sell them, who are interested in this in dating culture. Mm. of relationships <coughs> where our politics can be manifested fully. Yeah. So that's why it is it's a high level and as a very not what you said it's a simple level as well. Mm-hmm. To come to the understanding how great Krishna is how not the same the variety of relationships, feelings, and, uh, and the, uh, the, how the energies are playing. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to say, just like, because I'm very happy when I'm distributing, when I have distributed in the Bhagavatam, absolutely happy. So that's, Maybe too much happy, maybe a bit proud. <laughs> I can't deny, it, but not so much. So the more the less. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like you say. Thank you. Anyone? Any mother prophet? Maybe uh, by reading Srimad Bhagavatam, maybe we can understand the great personalities, how they have. Perform the devotion service like Jomara, Harshit Maharaj. And not only that one, by reading Srimad Bhagavatam, we can get the ability of discrimination mainly. And third point is, by reading Srimad Bhagavatam, we get the strength mainly, spiritual strength. When we are going through different problems, it gives strength that we tolerate. All the days, not the same. The future also will be good, so it will give the positivity to the person so that he can stand against the problem and he can further survive. Yeah. That's why it is because of Bhagavatam Rasamala, just drink it. You don't need to see with us. Just drink it. Just do it. Anyone else? Yeah, so definitely uh, when we are talking about the subjects, creation, which helps us to understand the Lord is Supreme, Sarga and then Visarga. So we see that, especially one who is coming from India, we see that there are trinities, the Lord of creation, Lord of maintenance and Lord of annihilation. So we see that the whole creation is Lord Brahma who has created everything. But the real truth we can see in Bhagavatam that Lord Brahma is telling to his son, My dear son, I am not the creator. I am just doing the secondary creation. And sthanam poshanam. Creation is okay, easy. And what about sthanam? Uh, To maintain it. Poshanam. Uh, And then inspire. Uh, to give impetus to perform devotion. Then Manvantaras, how the Manvantaras change? Ishanukathaya, the science of God, which is telling about who is the Lord. If we say the Lord is, and then there is whole <coughs> number of lines, how can we understand? We see, for example, Prahlad Maharaj, Life shows who is God. He is completely absorbed. When Hiranyakashyapu is asking, where is the Lord? He said, he is everywhere. When Hiranyakashyapu asked, where do you get this power? He says, from where you are getting, I am getting the power from there. Every pastime is induced with so much, so many morals. And at the same time, it is also so nice that we may think if someone is telling, hey Prabhu, you have to do this, you have to do this, you think, hey, it's too much. But if the same thing, if Bhagavatam is telling, 
we will never get bored we never think oh it's too much we want to why because the great personalities like pralad maharaj dhru maharaj what to talk about personalities like them when we talk about gajendra elephant now we may think okay dhru maharaj okay is a boy pralad maharaj is a boy prithu maharaj is uh, ambarish maharaj uh, they all fine we are talking about even gajendra who is an animal even an animal gets the topmost benefit ha huh? he is saying oh lord please save me and take me back to your spiritual world how many of us yeah in this world shila prabhupa says that if we are on the platform of sleeping eating mating and defending we are as good as animals and so be it if we are in that still bhagavatam can save us why because it gives us those prayers that we can offer to the lord i am very poor i am less intelligent i don't have any words to glorify the lord because i don't know the greatness of the lord i don't know the great qualities of the lord but at least when i see oh gajendra is able to offer such great wonderful prayers i just have to copy understand hey lord you are the one who have created everything you are the one who has maintained everything you are the one who is the super soul who is present in everyone's heart so lot of glorification okay we may think okay i may not be having even this what happened to dhruva maharaj dhruva maharaj who is just a boy he attained perfection in 6 months he attained perfection in 6 months why because he was blessed by his spiritual master he got the mantra he was completely focused he did intense and rigorous penance and then when the lord appeared ha huh? what here at least gajendra is offering prayers to please the lord and the lord appeared here in the case of dhruva maharaj he is just doing penance and when the lord appeared he asked i don't know what to ask i want something which is the topmost i don't even know what is that topmost why because he wanted to sit on the lap of his father he wanted to sit on the lap of his father uttanapad the meaning of uttanapad means one who is legs are up and the body is down he is uttanapad this symbolizes that one is going through the birth and death cycle we know that when a baby is coming out from the mother his head is down the legs are up so if you see the king uttanapad he is busy in his family life and then he is more hen pecked husband of whom suruchi just like we may have a lot of desires and we are slaves of those those desires uttanapad is also slave of or at least he was in the control of suruchi and then when dhruva maharaj wanted to sit on the lap of uttanapad suruchi said what are you talking huh it's not for you this place is for my son if you become my son then it can happen but is it so easy to become like that no you have to please lord vishnu and if lord vishnu blesses then you can appear in my womb and then you have the possibility so she indirectly said that no chance isn't it so nice that it is in the shrimad bhagavatam there is telling about we are talking about great devotees right how do we know the devotee is great when such situations happen when this kind of incidents happen in life then dhruv maharaj became totally disturbed and then when he went to his mother what happened did she say okay okay huh your mother is your step mother is like that ignore her or no she said what she says is right because i am not your father's favorite wife and yeah because you are not his son yeah you are going through this if you really want to attain 
uh, the top uh, whatever you desire you want what she said is correct just go to the forest now imagine a mother sending a son to a forest huh? which mother sends no one do, no one does it but here suniti has sent her son who is a young boy sent to the forest and then this even surprised narad muni can there be such a mother and can there be such a son who want to go to the forest huh? and then he came he tested dhruv and after that he gave the mantra and then he became perfect but he didn't had any vedic knowledge he doesn't know who is the god when the lord appeared when lord asked okay i am very pleased because when you did the tapasya what happened is the the earth when you were standing on one leg the earth was tilting this direction after some time when you felt pain on your thumb when you change the leg again the planet was moving tilting the other side so everything was in the control of dhruv maharaj so lord was so pleased who who is that boy who is so nicely uh, uh, doing the austerities and penances for me so he pulled the lord and then the lord appeared when the lord appeared he asked okay what do you want he said i want something very big even i don't know what is that big and the lord has given him that big that even brahma yeah the great grand father also didn't have the whole creator even he didn't had that position isn't it so wonderful this past time that tells that age doesn't matter okay now we are no more seven years so yeah we don't have to wait then we can take other other past time there is prithu maharaj there is ambarish maharaj every past time shows how a devotee is put into greatest kind of trouble are we not going through troubles in our life i have enough troubles <laughs> what to do now when we have so many troubles in our life what should we do there are two approaches one is that we solve the problem with full power and the other is let the solve pro- lord solve the problem what do we want what do we want how nice if the lord solves the problem isn't it because lord is expert we only have to do one thing we just have to serve the lord keep doing our service rest everything is taken care the lord is so merciful that he says in bhagavad gita that i appear yuga after yuga millennium after millennium millennium why to punish the miscreants and uh to save my devotees isn't it promise the lord is promising that he takes care of his devotees why because he loves his devotees now uh, when we are talking about ashray it's we, sharanagati is the topmost is it so easy it's no we just have to continue doing our service if we continue doing our service that will attract the lord and his mercy and this is what dhruv maharaj has shown uh, even pralad maharaj when pralad maharaj uh, when hiranyakashipu is uh, delivered then the lord is asking what do you want pralad maharaj says yeah it's not the case of dhruv maharaj pralad maharaj is already mahabhagavat why pralad maharaj was hearing bhagavatam when he was already in the womb of his mother uh, from narad muni it is not that like dhruv maharaj pralad maharaj got just the mantra and then send him go to the forest and do no when pralad maharaj was in the womb of um, kayadu yeah then narad muni was uh, talking the subject matter of the lord and then he is already mahabhagavat and when he was asked the lord is also asking yeah, what do you want he says i don't want anything ha uh, i only have one request oh my father who is so ha uh, he think he thought he is the master please ha uh, 
bless him and he said what are you talking you are already a devotee so your father is already blessed so shrimad bhagavatam has so many secrets shortcuts through which we can make our life successful not only our life success our life successful but also life of our past generations and also future generations in that way we any any episode we take the dealings of the lord and his devotees are amazing why because these are giving us first of all it is so nice because this is what we are saying rasika uh, we are talking about <coughs> there is lot of mellow in in all these wonderful dealings of the lord it is not like okay when two people are talking no emotions like as if in a office we don't really care uh, how how the manager understands or not but at home we really care how the emotions the dealings the love and affection of the individual is shrimad bhagavatam it is said that out of the 12 rasas the five rasas which are actually in the spiritual world are very very elaborately narrated ha uh, what are this we are talking about shantaras dasyaras vatsalyaras sakhyaras madhuryaras which just by hearing what is happening is our heart becomes very very pacified cool otherwise in the material world everything is agitating us uh, the senses are agitated the heart is also agitated and the only medicine it is said yeah is bhagavatam why because when the bhagavatam is heard then it enters into the heart it's not just staying at here and it's creating more agitation but bhagavatam is actually going where here premanjana churita bhakti vilochanena so through the means of bhagavatam we are getting that vision through which we can see we can understand the lord as you said when bhagavad gita when we read it's lot of philosophy when the lord is saying i am this i am this i am this we say okay it's fine you are you are so and so you are so great but where is the devotion <coughs> to get this devotion we can see a, a devotee by knowing the greatness of the lord how much he is indebted the prayers that a devotee is offering in the mode of sharanagati lord you are supreme then we say ha ah, okay the purpose of actually knowing the lord is so great is to do what to offer prayers so bhagavatam gives us the means the most easy even if we do not understand all this list of all books forget if we talk about vedas it's very very difficult even already so many rishis sages are already struggling to understand what does it mean ha huh? just one line is mentioned and how much to understand what to understand is the lord having form not having form ha huh? some are saying having form not having form so much confusion just when we take shelter of bhagavatam we can understand everything why because it is induced with complete understanding of the supreme lord why because it said absolute truth anyway i'm sorry where is rishi kumar prabhu are there any questions anyone anyone want to add or comment no yes kabir i would like to ask just one question like uh, as i said about all the uh, puranas and uh, at last we wrote uh, shrimad bhagavat puran so why i am just curious to know about why vyasa uh, dev didn't mention at the end so now this is the complete uh, puran so except uh, shrimad bhagavat puran no need to study or read any other previous puranas Mm-hmm. it was surely there are also leelas and uh, um, other uh, important things discussed in other puranas as well so, yeah uh, but now in is gone for overall we have to read more shri mad bhagavatam rather than discussing or introducing other puranas so why it is like that so shri mad bhagavatam is said it is for paramahamsas which means actually in a way that we are not qualified even to enter into this 
but Srila Prabhupada made it available for us because he mentions in his purports how to understand the Bhagavatam. And now to your question, what about other books? Yeah. So, the other books can be used as a, uh, what do we call, supplementary. Yeah. For example, we talk also Padma Puran. Yeah. There are references from Padma Puran. Prabhupada also brings those and explains in the purport. So, there is no harm because it's not that those are void. It's not that those are wrong and he has now come with a complete corrected version. Those are also valid and these are also valid. And depending on the modes that we are, we may like this kind of Puranas. Now, if one is in the mode of passion, he would like those Puranas which are mode of passion. So, I mean, I cannot speak on behalf of uh, Vyasadev, but I can say that they have their own purpose. Hmm? But when one comes to this understanding that, okay, what is the topmost and what is that? Then, Srimad Bhagavatam. And that too, because Vyasadeva has made it available for Kali Yuga, you know, people who are in the Kali Yuga. And in that way, he made it the most easiest form. Yeah. But some may think, no, I don't want easy. Uh, easy is too easy, right? I want something which is really... There are also such compilations. One can go to the Upanishads. They can also go into the directly Rigveda. How in Rigveda all those hymns are there, how these all are... Uh, ultimately, all these three Vedas are still glorifying the Lord, but have different, different ways, different, different meters, etc. Uh, so one can go into that. But uh, Vyasadev says that those are giving us the Vedic understanding, which means how to enjoy the best in the material world. Huh? All the Vedas, uh, Upanishads are telling how to deal, how to become a perfectionist in the material world. But this is a Paramahamsa, uh, for Paramahamsas means who do not want, who, do, who, who don't have anything to do with this world, who are only having the transcendental vision, who are the transcendentalists. So, when one comes to that level, then... Yeah, I don't know if it answers your question. Yeah. Okay, yes. How can we read the Bhagavatam that we get the most, the most uh, fortune of reading? Do we have to get more to read it? Do we have the special uh, art to read it? Or? Wow. The best is when we <coughs> discuss Bhagavatam amongst devotees. Uh, that we are hearing from, from the devotees. Uh, and um, even to that extent, Prabhupada is saying that one should not hear Bhagavatam from people who are Mayavadis, especially. He says that one should be very careful. It's just like um, when we feed milk to a snake, the snake becomes more poisonous. What does this mean is that when we are hearing, when we are already lack of proper understanding and when we are hearing from people who are not having right understanding, we just, it's like a blind man uh, guiding a blind man. Yeah. So which means we, Bhagavad, through means of Bhagavatam, we want to go up, we want to transcend. But when we are hearing not from the authorized sources, what can happen is we go down. Yeah? And then Shravanam Kirtanam. Yeah? Shravanam is the means through which we can release Bhagavatam more because through this, when the Bhagavatas are speaking about Bhagavatam, they are giving references from different op means like what did Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has given his commentary. So from different commentaries, we can enhance our understanding of Bhagavatam. And of course, when we do not have such opportunity, we can hear to what Prabhupada is narrating on this through his purpose, reading them carefully. And then there are also uh, digest. Yeah? There is also some, if we talk about Bhagavad Shubodhini, yeah, that Gaurang Darshan Prabhu has made available, you can we can also refer to that because uh, Gaurang Darshan Prabhu is putting the whole pastime or even shloka, how to understand the shlokas properly. So in that way we can uh, deepen our understanding of Bhagavatam. 
and because when we are understanding further deep in then what will happen is we relish it more and then our interest to read more and more increases yeah so hearing from the authorized sources bhagavat uh, and uh, reading the purports of prabhupad and also to have uh, you know bird bird eye view yeah so from from top to see whole what does it all means about because this is not just a novel where we read a story and then it's gone this every past time is having also a dimension not only of story also moral ha huh? what is the moral of the story this is also there and not only that what is the greatness of a character oh pralad maharaj okay he has these qualities Hmm? and um, in in that way great devotees then we see ha huh, okay how a devotee deals in his life what is the qualities that he has so in that way we we go more and more in in the process of uh, cle- cleansing our heart understanding and then we pick role models uh, when we talk about bhagavatam we understand okay the devotees are our role models that we can enhance our own spiritual journey and attain perfection yeah very good maharaj please add i'm just sh- sharing with my very insignificant <coughs> experience i would have this described as ripe fruit on the tree of wisdom it's a fruit and so you should have power to mercy that you Thank you Manas Yes bro How important to do practical doing such as hearing the uh, Bhagavatam or uh, hearing and reading the uh, Bhagavatam itself is you know, already uh, Bhakti Yoga. Yeah. So the question is uh, when we are when we are taking shelter of bhagavatam is it already bhakti or is it after we practice then is it bhakti so out of nine processes of devotional service shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam these three we get at same time when we take bhagavatam when we are doing kirtanam what is that when we are reading bhagavatam we are hearing shravanam is happening so kirtanam shravanam and then after we close the book then we meditate on this past time so shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam is already happening while we are reading bhagavatam or hearing and then archanam vandanam dasyam 
these are also yeah depending on what services we are engaging in we will have more <coughs> devotion in that and because we are talking about how the devotees have made perfect yeah when we talk about ambarish maharaj or when we talk about prithu maharaj they are great devotees and then they are also mahajans or great devotees they they got completely absorbed yeah when we talk about the glories of ambarish maharaj that he is absorbed all his body all his senses are that when we meditate on that we see okay okay let me what what can i do washing the plates of the lord now uh, i have hands i can wash the plates of the lord i can clean the floor i can i can even go to the dham yeah out of the five activities that is mentioned one visiting the pilgrimages or uh, the place of the lord uh, bhagavatam is also one service yeah jiva goswami sorry rupa goswami uh, is emphasizing out of the 64 the most important five in that bhagavatam is also one so just bhagavatam is also service nityam bhagavata sevaya so reading bhagavatam hearing bhagavatam or remembering the past times from bhagavatam all these are still rendering services these are not we may think okay i am sitting in one place but actually these are also very active services because these are if you see in the nine limbs of devotion shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam adi слушать What, uh, what uh, should we do? Stay and hear to the end, or should we stand up and leave this place because it's, it's not so nice to hear from someone who is not qualified? Sometimes it happens. In uh, in the Iskon temple, in Iskon temples also. Okay. So. <laughs> when you're talking about unqualified speakers i cannot talk about them because i'm unqualified speaker to talk about them so i don't know but i heard in a class that we should be very careful because these go into our heart and can also affect for a very long term so it's better that especially when the speaker is talking something usually it is said that one who is speaking bhagavatam should be very humble that he uh, while he is speaking high topics still he has to say that oh i am not qualified but i am trying to tell from my level so if such speaker is there one can still hear because that can help us to also understand okay i am also not great but if something can make us think oh then there is a chance of doing vaishnava prad because then we start thinking okay he is not qualified or qualified and those things will come so it's not good for our devotion but yeah we are fortunate maharaj what would be the right answer <laughs> i don't know i hear all the chances i don't make sure it's not so when he says i mean completely up because of the say so I find that whoever gives Bhagavad Gita, there's always something there that is uh, interesting, according to the realizations. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, Maharaj. And um, my my little experience is the one who is speaking. 
he is also elevated when when he is taking to bhagavatam right so so there is a benefit that who is speaking he is also his consciousness is high though his activities are not yet coming high his consciousness is high and uh, his own as jayadvait mara says that a devotee is always a devotee even if uh, for now he may not manifest his greatness he is still a devotee because he is he is sticking to this process of giving his yeah best doing his best he may not be best but he is trying to do be to do his best so in that way he is in the process and he will be successful and if we think the other way then yeah because of vaishnava prad then we fall yeah so any last question if it's there otherwise yeah should pause okay then i pray for all of us may the lord in his bhagavatam form enlighten us further enrich us with bhakti yeah because as you were saying the whole purpose of whole bhagavatam is what love of godhead bhakti so whether we are taking yeah to bhagavatam even if it is 10th canto when we are hearing it is not about how we can enter into the ras leela because oh ultimately it's about ras rasika means to be enjoying ras ras no it is still to understand that what is true love and take shelter of shrimati radharani so that we can understand that okay we are what servants of the servants of of the servant of gopis so whichever canto we take if we can have this then our life is successful chila prabhupad ki hari krishna so now uh, i have a li- i have a small document which gives like there are some enthusiastic donors on this very special day who want to offer bhagavatam and then there also who would like to receive bhagavatam on this day so in both ways it's very auspicious i would say just like bhagavatam which is written by vyasadev is enhanced by sukadev goswami on this special day we have his honorable bhakti bhushan maharaj maharaj if you can please give the bhagavatam sets who will be getting that will be double blessing on this special day thank you very much thank you hare krishna so so there is a roman prabhu and zenia mata ji who would like to sponsor uh bhagavatam to karolina mata ji i don't know if karolina mata ji could manage to come thank you so it will be in german is this in deutsch or Eng- uh, english this is in english huh? can you can you turn the camera one second one second one second hurry boy make a foot one second quickly Now you can take photos. photos. Yes, yes. So that that's were given by Roman and Zenia. They are not here. And then Kimberly Mata ji, or would like to give for Angela. Who is that? Uh, who is Angela? Yeah. Okay. So, gets. Is it German? Yes. Yes. Can you take some here? Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And then there is one donor who would like to not reveal her name or his name. I want to offer it to Barbara. Barbara. Yes, she is here. Yeah.
English or German, someone who needs. Is there someone who would like to receive on this auspicious day? Bhagavatam? Yes, your good name? What's your good name? Parminder. I think you have also, yeah, selected, right? So, English or German? English. It's, it's light, right? So that's why. Yeah, anyone else? Uh, yeah, the, also, Moh, uh, Mohan Das. Mohan Das? Mohan Das? Mohan Das? Mohan of Deutsch. Mohan of Deutsch, yeah. Das? Das ist das alles, was wir Spenden gekriegt haben. Und diejenigen, die das kaufen können, können das sehen. Ja. Wenn. Was ist das? Wenn es. Das weiß ich nicht. Bagwad im Englisch. Bagwad im Englisch. Okay, sorry. Adil is a problem, right? No. Fine. And then, still, if someone is enthusiastic, would like to make the best of this opportunity to take Bhagavatam, there is still, yeah, someone would like to get it? Anyone? You, mother? In which language? Russian, English, okay. Gara Mataji and Madhuri Vila Madhuri, Susan Mangeshka and Kandi. English, English. 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 Okay, but that's English. That's English. That's English. 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 Yeah, I'm sure. Ah, okay. Okay, so what's your name? What's your name? Sakshi. Sakshi. Yeah, so Sakshi Mata is spending for. So we can show an essay of book given, yeah? We have an essay of English 5. Of English, yeah. 
Uh, she, uh, she, 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 she uh, uh, sponsor mm-hmm. to finance so Yemen yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you have already Bhagavata? I have in Russian in I don't have in English no I don't have in English <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's okay so, no 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 I require from you yeah. you want? I have it. when was the problem? I, yeah, it's your opportunity there. Yeah, somebody help you with this. <laughs> <laughs> no? Come, come. Can somebody come? Can you help me? Yeah, yeah. This is weird. Yeah, but you, then you take for yourself. I have. Ah, you have already. Yeah. Okay. No fine Deutsch and stuff? No fine Deutsch and stuff? No. I can't always try it. No. 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 Weil ich habe schon als in Deutsch, ich würde es sonst gerne ein Buch Polnisch nennen, aber in Polnisch gibt es das nicht, ne? Was? Bitte mal drauf? Ja. Ja? Ich würde keine Ahnung, das machen wir schon oben. Ja. Das ja. geht nicht mehr. Da ist es halt rausgehen. Ja. Ja. Foto? Oder wenn die mal... Alles Foto, das ist gut. Ja. Final Call. Hallo. Hallo.